In this video, you'll learn what to do after you land your first client. Hey there, my name is Joey Sturgis, and I've spent the last 15 years of my life getting great at audio production. But enough about me, this is about you. Yes, you. You love audio and music production, and guess what? I've got good news for you. You're in the right place because my job is to literally help you crush it at recording and mixing. So welcome, have a seat, stay a while, because I'm about to pump some badass knowledge into your brain. Woo, let's go. You landed your first client. All that hard work paid off. Work with them is going well and everything's just peachy. But you might be wondering, now what? First thing you want to think about might be, is this the kind of client I like to work with? And do I want to keep working with them? The reason I bring this up is because part of your performance, your ability to create great products or mixes is partly reliant on the clients you're working with and how much you like working with them. We all know the saying, beggars can't be choosers, but you got to tread carefully here. Getting stuck with the type of clients that you aren't interested in or worse you absolutely hate is a quick and surefired way to end your career before it ever even started if you're thinking this client isn't going to work out well don't worry the good news is that there's no shortage of people making music and needing professional help and with just a few simple tips you can easily find more clients if you're already feeling like this client is a great fit then you're already onto something that can scale now that we've put some thought into continuing this relationship or not next we've got to build and establish trust with our client part of having a successful career in the audio production world is getting returned turn or repeat clients. Artists who come back to work with you over and over again. This is exactly how I built my 15 plus year career and, and enabled me to stabilize my income and build a name for myself and become a well-known and sought after producer. Trust is the secret for you to do the same. Having trust with your clients creates a bond that is really hard to break. And once you've established this, the artist is going to rely on you or maybe in his or her own creative mind, consider you part of their creative process. And that's great news for you. That means you've got job security. Think about it. As soon as you become part of your client's creative process, you're an essential part of their art. And that means a lot more business coming your way as long as they're creating music. The big secret here is that once you've got artists that trust and love working with you, they'll be walking and talking billboards for your production work when they go out on tour, hang out with other bands, and meet new people. They're out there spreading the good word about your work, and that's exactly how you begin to expand your client base. This word of mouth is your secret weapon. There's no better form of advertising than word of mouth. Once you've started working on trust, you're gonna want to develop an ongoing friendship with your client. Just like with any friend, you wanna know what kind of food they like, you know, what are their favorite artists, where do they live and what kind of events are happening in their local area. You'll want to converse with them and at least once a week, if not more, to keep up with them after they leave the studio. It's important to build this friendship with your artists because the music industry thrives on personal and friendly connections. It may also sound creepy in a way, but it's true. The more friends you make in this business, the faster your career will grow. And that's just the nature of the music business. That's great news for you because if you can get along with the people you meet, your career is going to go far. It's easy to put on our business hat sometimes, but I think it's even easier to just hang out with your friends and make music. Finally, you'll want to consider a good follow-up strategy. Typically, bands will put out an album every one to two years. So as soon as you start working on their album, mark this on your calendar as a reminder one year from that day to reach out and see how they're doing. They may not reach out to you, but you want to remain on top of the ball here. This is important because by being the one who's organized, you're giving yourself the best chance at catching the band right when they're starting to look for a producer. That's going to maximize your chances at contacting them at just around the right time. Plus, if you've been keeping up with them all this time, the question will be even more timely and casual. And this is great for you because all you gotta do is keep a calendar and stick to it. The reminders will hit you at just the right timing and you'll be on top of all your return clients. Anyway, this is just what I think, but there is something that is always more interesting and that is what you think. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe and follow to see more. Do you wanna learn more about my audio production process? Well, you're in luck because I've teamed up with Creative Live to give you my exact methods for audio production step by step in what we call the Studio Pass. This class is packed with everything you need to craft audio productions just like mine. Click the link on this video to enroll now. I will be compensated when you make a purchase. I'm also gonna make a special offer. If you purchase the class, send me your receipt to support at joeysurgistones.com and you'll get a free JST plugin up to $49 in value. How awesome is that? Click the link on this video and grab my Studio Pass class right now with Creative Live. Stay tuned because tomorrow, I'm gonna tell you what musicians should know about audio production. Talk to you tomorrow, happy mixing.